Hello everybody, this video is about Osprey Exos and Ija Backpacks series and uh, it's actually a comparison between the standard series Osprey Exos and Ija and uh, something that they call Pro series which they launched just a few months ago. So if you are familiar with these uh, standard Osprey Exos and EJ backpacks then you know that they launched a new version in 2022 which is indeed better than ever uh, with uh, <coughs> adjustable torso length and many other great features and now they have uh, launched this Pro series which is based on the on the standard backpacks but with uh, fewer features I would say and in this uh, video I'm using the text from my site where I have a formal comparison between these two series so here is the, the picture of the of one of the pro packs and uh, on the right is uh, standard exos uh, backpack so on the first look you realize they are a bit different but let me show you more uh, what they have in common and uh, where they differ. So you have adjustable torso length which is in both uh, versions. There is uh, another type torso length adjustability and the lid in both series is removable and the backpacks come with uh, integrated flap jacket so you can close the backpack even when you remove the lid. <clears throat> All these backpacks are with a single access point and uh, they are ventilated. So you have tensioned trampoline style mesh instead of standard back panel. They come without rim cover and uh, there is no separate bottom compartment. So these are features that are uh, common for both versions the most important i would say features and in this uh, uh, post i provided two videos uh, about pro and standard backpacks so if you come here you will uh, you, you can see them and uh, the most important difference is i have summarized in this uh, formal comparison table so in, in this column you have Osprey Axos and Egypt Pro and on the right is the standard version of these backpacks. And here are some parameters that I discuss below. So I will say a few words about each of them. Uh, but before I continue from this comparison table it turns out that Pro backpacks uh, score is 2 out of 8 and standard 6 out of 8. So it looks that standard Osprey Exos and Ija are far better. But let's see really uh, how the things are. Uh, so the variety of sizes which I mentioned uh, here in the, in the table I give advantage to the standard packs because there are more of them. There are three for men, three for women and each of them has two sub sizes which means 12 packs in total. In the case of pro packs you have only one for men and one for women, but they are also in two sub sizes, so there are four of them. Regarding attachment options, there are differences. The most visible is that pro packs come without uh, Osprey's stone go attachment system for tracking poles and this is a pity uh, but they come with some extra uh, attachment options on the front you have you see here four uh, lashing points here and the same is on the other side so this is uh, something that you don't have in standard uh, Osprey Exos and EJ backpacks and uh, they have the same attachment uh, webbing loops on the lid Regarding the weight, this is the most important difference. Uh, standard, let's say Osprey Exos 58 
is ultra light with 128 kilograms but when you compare this with the pro version of the same volume it is 30 percent lighter the pro version it is below one kilogram as you see so this is really a huge difference for these backpacks as i said standard backpacks are already ultra light but these are even lighter <coughs> regarding sternum strap there are differences in the pro packs you have a ladder type sternum strap adjustability uh, vertical up and down and in the standard backpacks this is a, a sliding type adjustability side straps are different in the standard backpacks you have one single strap that goes from the bottom to the top on the side and you can adjust it from uh, both top and bottom uh, point and in the pro packs you actually have separate upper and lower compression straps and the lower is rem removable and you can use it also to attach a sleeping pad on the front of the backpack which is quite unusual feature i haven't seen this in any pack so far <clears throat> regarding the, the pockets there are small differences in the standard backpacks you have uh, hip belt pockets that are with zippers but in the pro uh, packs only one of them is with zipper and also if you compare the front pocket on these two backpacks this is the pro and this is standard you see in the standard version you have a strap here and buckle so uh, this is um, no doubt better what you have here <coughs> To continue with uh, uh, features, uh, carry capacity is slightly different. So in the pro packs it is up to 14 kilograms, and in the standard packs up to 16. Is it important? I don't think so. I don't understand actually the lower limits which they give for both. I don't understand the meaning. 4.5 kilograms for the pro packs. But anyhow. Uh, there is some small difference not so important why there is difference i guess this is because of the uh, suspension which is based on 3.5 millimeters uh, peripheral frame in the pro packs as compared to 4 millimeters in the standard backpacks uh, regarding the the price uh, pro packs are actually more expensive and i don't see a reason why this should be so because they have fewer features which them which makes uh, them lighter but uh, I would say that these backpacks are inferior to standard backpacks so all in all uh, the pro series uh, of Osprey Exos and Ija backpacks is incredibly light and uh, I can tell you this is not on the count of features because you still have plenty of them uh, and uh, I'm sure these uh, backpacks will uh, become very popular and very soon. Uh, so far, I have seen them only on the Osprey's uh, US site and nowhere else. So, thank you for watching. There is a link below the video. You can come to my site and read this text in detail.